and welcome back to Talk of Alabama. Did you know that Birmingham has its very own nonprofit organization that can teach you how to sew? It's called Bib and Tucker, and they meet every Tuesday from 11 till 3. We've got Lillis Taylor and Annie Bryant joining us with all of the details. Welcome to you, ladies. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm glad you guys are here, and I hear you recently completed your first annual March Quilts project. Tell us about that. Um, the March Quilts was... Um, basically a community art project to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Selma to Montgomery marches. Okay. And we had um, sewing sessions around Birmingham and a, one in Selma and one in Montgomery and we made three quilts with um, 461 blocks. Wow, are these some of the samples by the way? Yes, we we actually Hold the, those up the for us. sew up um, is making our own March quilt. We're a little bit behind, but um, this is my block. It's Coretta King. And this is my block. These are the four little girls. Oh, how sweet that is. How, now, how long did it take you to do these? Well, we started in um, January. January. Yeah. And, and everybody, each person worked on their own block. So yeah. mine took a little bit longer, but Miss Annie got hers done pretty quickly. I was going to say, Miss Bryant, she ain't messing around. She's getting those little <laughs> girls done. These are adorable. So. Tell me a little bit about just the organization, what kind of organization it is. Okay, so Bib and Tucker is a, um, it's a 501c3 nonprofit. Okay. And we have a very simple mission to cultivate skills for those who sew or want to sew, ages 9 to 99. Yeah. And um, what we do is we teach those skills through community projects. So we've given uh, quilts to the um, Woodlawn YWCA shelter okay and also with the March quilts that was a community project to get our name out there in the community well Miss Bryant let me ask you how did you guys meet and how did you guys form this group because you two are the founders right right I met Lily at uh, the Birmingham quilting guild in okay. Homewood and um, we wanted to learn how to sew so we exchanged phone numbers and we started a group over in Inglenook okay. and uh, we outgrew Inglenook and uh -huh. so we moved to Desert Island in Woodlawn okay. and from there in January we wanted our own home so we moved to uh, a 55th place yeah. First Avenue South. That's really cool. What's Bib and Tucker mean by the way? So Viv and Tucker is British slang for a woman's finest duds, mm -hmm. oh, and okay. um, and then sew-op is a play on co-op. Oh, very nice. What about this? I know you all meet every Tuesday. Are visitors welcome? If somebody's watching right now at home and they want to learn more, can they pop in, or how does it work? They can always come in. We do not meet strangers, mm -hmm. and we want to teach each and every one who wants to come. So they're always welcome on Tuesdays from 11 until 3. And we want to remind everybody they take donations. They are a nonprofit, okay. so they are more than happy to take a donation if you'd like to pop in and support their cause. See what they're doing. There's the information on your screen, bibandtuckersewop.org for more information. And a big window there of sewing from 11 to 3. So all day on Tuesday, we know where to find you, ladies. Yes, yes. <laughs> you're always welcome. Well, I might have to. It's, it's on my bucket list is to, to do something creative like this. So. Yeah. You never know, I may pop in one day. I okay. hope so. Thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Of course. We'll be right back with more Talk of Alabama.